All right guys, this is crazy. How's the 24 core faster than the 32 core? This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best way to make an amazing website. Today, we will find out once and for all, is the 32 core M1 Max a ripoff and is the 24 core the one you want to get? We finally got our hands on a 24 core, thanks to Ji Wu, a follower on Twitter. So thank you for making this possible. And we not only have two 16 inch MacBook Pros right in front of us, I also have a 32 core M1 Max 14 inch model. So we will also get to see, does the 24 core 16 inch model be out or compete with the 32 core 14 inch and these things cost the same exact price with those differences. And not only are we gonna show you guys the performance differences, but something else that nobody has shown and that is how much power can the 24 core use compared to the 32 core? Cause there's a chance that it can actually have very close performance, especially under a heavy load. We're also gonna talk about fan noise, maximum temperatures, and everything else to help you make the best decision and find out which one of these are worth it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna start out with Geekbench 5, which I know is not the best test, but I wanna put a twist on it. I'm gonna be running sudo acetop, our terminal script that was created for us, to see what power and what frequency for the graphics is used when it's ramping up to do these 30 tasks. All right, let's go ahead and hit run, and we are gonna watch and see what happens to the GPU. Bam, we have 1295 megahertz for the 32 core M1 Max and 1289 for the 24 core. So basically the same 1300 megahertz, but what about our 14 inch model? This one also hit 1295, so the same frequency, but wait till I show you what happens when we actually put a full consistent load in our next test. All right, the scores are in. This is interesting. Our 32 core 16 inch scored 67,900. We basically have a thousand less on our 14 inch 32 core model and the 24 core 16 inch scored 69,345. So that's roughly, I don't know, about 8,000, 7, 8,000 less than the 32 core. Now what's really interesting is if we break this score down for the score per core, we get just over 2,100 for the 16 inch 32. We get just under that for the 14 inch 32, but the 24 core model gets 2,472 points, almost 2,500 points. And then if we take that and times it by 32 cores, this 32 should be at almost 80,000, not 67,900. So that basically means that Apple is limiting this 32 core 16 inch either for maybe battery life reasons or thermal reasons. And if we look at the peak wattage, this proves it. We have 30 watts peak use for these tests here with the 16 inch model and 32 for the 24 core. So this 24 core is using more power even though it has less watts, at least for a peak. And I don't know how long that lasts. We'll test that in just a bit. And then looking at the 14 inch model, this thing hit almost 37 watts of power, which is crazy crazy and maybe that's why the battery life on the 14 inch is so much worse for the 32 core compared to the other graphics models. So could these results mean that the 24 core might perform close to the 32 in extended loads and then other times it could actually run cooler and quieter? Well, we're gonna find out in just a sec, but first I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you've been thinking about making your own website, Squarespace is seriously the best way to go. You can build a great looking website like we did with literally no web making experience. It doesn't matter if it's a portfolio, a blog, e-commerce, or anything else, you simply choose a template and customize blocks of text and images. It's incredibly simple, it's affordable, and ours have been running flawlessly for years now, bringing in tons of traffic thanks to its built-in SEO tools. Start your free two-week trial with no credit card required by going to squarespace.com slash maxtech or by using that custom link down below. And when you already launch, you will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Next, I'm gonna run GFX Bench Metal. This is a gaming test that is well optimized cross platform. And why I wanna run this one is to see the maximum graphics power when we are doing a full 100% extended load. 
All right, and it looks like our 24 core went up to 36.8 watts compared to 43.7 for the 32 core 16 inch and the 14 inch is also 43.65, almost identical. So all of them use higher power, uh, but the 24 core does use less. And with that, this is a really quick test. The fans were off on all the machines. So this doesn't account for thermal throttling, but as far as the performance, we have th pretty much 310 frames per second compared to 243, so a lot lower for the 24 core and 278 for the 14 inch model. So even though the 14 inch also has 32 cores, it's a big loss in performance, even though you have the same amount of wattage because of pro probably thermal issues or limitations. Now we're gonna go ahead and close this down. In the next test, we're gonna test out thermal throttling and what these machines can actually run at as well as the fan noise. This is 3D Mark's extreme stress test, which will run for 20 minutes and allow us to see what is going on with these systems. Now, so far, it's been about 20 seconds. If we look at temperatures, we're seeing very similar ones on the 24 core and the 32 core 16 inch models, but the 14 core is definitely getting hotter quicker. As you can see, it's already at 90 degrees compared to low 80s. And here's another very interesting thing. The 24 core model is actually running hotter now than the other 16 inch model, 90 degrees compared to 77 but the fans are barely on. They're practically just above idle compared to the 32 core, which I can actually hear the fans right now. They're about halfway. And the 14 inch model is the worst of both. It's running hot and the fans are the loudest out of the bunch. And check this out, this is crazy. So as far as wattage right now and full performance, we're about you know five minutes or so in. Uh, we're getting about 37 watts on the 24 core model compared to 41 on the 32 core. So not much of a power difference, just slightly less, even though we have eight less cores. But on the 32 core 14 inch model, this thing is running as low as 23 watts and averaging around 25 compared to 37 on a model that has eight less cores. So Apple is definitely limiting this thing a lot. And by the way, both of these are using the high powered mode, which wouldn't make a difference here. And we're plugged in on all of them. So it's not like there's battery issues. So like I said in my previous video, the 32 core 14 inch might actually be slower than the 24 core 16 inch model. We'll find out in just a bit. Now, as far as frequencies, we're running at 1,296 megahertz, so basically 1,300 on the 32 core. Also, the identical 1,300 or just under that for the 24 core, same exact frequency on the cores. So it doesn't look like we're throttling, but on the 14 inch model, we are running under 1,000 megahertz. So that's a big dip in performance. We're definitely seeing thermal throttling on this system. Sometimes it's actually going down as low as the high 800 megahertz, which is crazy. So what is gonna happen when we're not only doing a graphics task like right now, but for real life testing like Blender 3D rendering, we're using both your CPU and your GPU. That's gonna be crazy. All right, we have our results from the stress test and a 32 core 16 inch has extremely good stability, 99.6 compared to 96.4 on the 24 core, which is weird. It has less cores, means less thermals. Why is this thing less stable? Well, that's because Apple tries to keep this thing running quieter. It's clearly noticeable and the heat is quite a bit higher because of that, so it's less stable. Uh, and because of that, it actually struggled in certain parts with frame rates, but the 14 inch model, 91.9% stability, and the lowest loop score was 14,952, compared to 15,164 for the 16 inch model that has eight less cores. And then the 16 inch model 32 got 18,727. And the other interesting thing is when this 24 core dipped, it only did that like right in the middle and then the fans kicked up a bit and then the last run was almost as fast as the first compared to the 14 inch which just got slower and slower and slower. So if you're getting a 32 core, the 16 inch model will be 25% more powerful than the 14 inch MacBook 
And if you can actually get the larger size you could deal with it, for the same price, you can actually get even better performance, a decent amount better. And the other thing is that the 24 core has 33% less cores than the 32, but the 32 only gets 19% better performance. So as far as performance per core, it's actually doing pretty well. But now let's go ahead and introduce CPU loads as well, not just GPU, and it's gonna get even more interesting. So for that, we are gonna use Blender for 3D rendering, and I have the latest alpha version that's gonna use the CPU as well as Metal, which got a lot faster, and it's gonna use most of the CPU and all of the GPU power. So let's go ahead and select our render over here, and we are gonna see how long it takes and how much faster the 32 cores uh, will do this compared to 24. All right, wow, this time we're at 96 degrees Celsius for the 32 core model compared to 89, just hit 90. So definitely cooler now uh, with the 24 core. And this one, my goodness, it's running cooler, but I'm guessing it's throttling a lot on the 14 inch. All right, our render is finished. And the 24 core 16 inch took only 12 seconds longer than the 32 core and it ran cooler and quieter at the same time. We have a minute and 44 seconds for the 32 core 16 and a minute and 56 for the 24 core 16. But what about the 14 inch over there? Well, you guys saw I actually didn't run that hot because I was throttling. It took two minutes and 10 seconds to do that way slower than the 16 inch one with the same exact graphics. So in this case, the 24 core 16 inch is actually 13% faster than the 32 core 14 inch model. And of course you get you know way better battery life as well. So that is very impressive. And it's not that far behind the 32 core. So scaling wise, performance per core, it is fairly impressive. And now let's take it a step further with video editing. I have some 8K raw footage right over here. We are going to be working with it and exporting it, which takes a lot of CPU processing, demosaicing, graphics processing, a lot of heat. This is gonna be the ultimate test to see how much of a difference do we get between 32 cores and 24, and if the 32 core is a ripoff for the extreme users out there that really push their machine. So let's go ahead and export this. All right guys, this is crazy. How's the 24 core faster than the 32 core at exporting and it's gaining speed as it's going? Well, let's take a look at Acetop and all right, here you go. This is why the 24 core is running at almost full performance, about 1260 megahertz, 1240, whereas the 32 core, it's running at just above 1000 megahertz. It's throttling a lot more. And then our 14 inch 32 core, this thing's at the high 700s or the low 800s. So this thing is throttling a ton. So we're seeing that the 24 core, even though it's 33% less cores, it is throttling less, causing it to be faster than the more expensive 32 core model. And bam, we have our results. Wow, okay. So the 14 inch, it took 10 minutes and one second. The 32 core, more expensive 16 inch, took seven minutes and 35 seconds. That's a pretty impressive improvement over the 14 inch, about 25% faster than that machine. But the 24 core cheaper one, it did it in seven minutes and 13 seconds, faster than the 32 core by about 22 seconds or so. So this just proves to us that if you need the most performance and you're pushing the CPU and you're pushing the GPU, it doesn't mean that you need to buy the most expensive machine. The 24 core 16 inch, it's gonna have better battery life overall. If you push it very lightly, it'll just be a little bit slower. Bang for the buck, the performance per cores is really good. It's gonna run a little bit louder in some situations, but under heavy load quieter, which we just saw here, perform better and cost you less money. This is the unicorn model that, and before when I talked about, it was way longer wait times to get and they kept delaying my model. So I literally had to get it from somebody else to test it. And not only does it perform great, 
with the 16 inch model, if you're getting the 14 inch model, you literally, even for easy tasks, the difference is very minimal. I made a whole video on that guys, you guys could check it out right over there. But overall, I am just so impressed with the 24 core model, not only in the 14 inch, also in the 16 inch model. So thank you guys for watching. Click that circle above to help us gain uh, a million subscribers. That is our goal. We would absolutely appreciate it. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next video.